Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 53. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we are here for another video. Uh, this is the fifth video we're recording today. Um, 20th Century Supercar Invitational. We're going to be taking the TVR again. Maple Valley, Sebring, Magello, and Suzuka Circuit. Let's get going. All right, here we go. This is uh, race number one of four today. And we have the extremely fast Server Speed 12 today. This car is insane. And the fact that this is from the 90s is ridiculous as well. The fact that a car this fast can exist that long ago is mental. But yeah, I very much uh, appreciate those biddies glitch. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Oh god, it's fallen. Oh no. Whoa, slippy slide. How is your day today, Mr. Fallen? Stable through the exit of that corner there. Looking at 10 minutes per race at the moment now, which is uh, kind of unbelievable. I think the final championship, or the final two championships, might actually get split into two videos. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, that was not very good. Uh, something tells me I shouldn't recommend driving like that. Not bad. Not bad. I think Fallen just died. I think it just died. That was horrendous. So, uh, it turns out this car is extremely unstable. It proves my point that I hate TVRs in video games. They are horrendous. And they are the worst. <laughs> there was literally no emotes that got sent. Yeah, there's nothing that came through on my chat, so. There you go. I think there's a limit to how many you can send in a message. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like to play with my penis. <laughs> That's like the best voice line out of all of them. It's brilliant. Best thing that's ever been said by me. <laughs> Yours truly. There's a marvellous display of emotes there, Fallen. <laughs> oh no, more! There is more! Those are all the uh, bit emotes, aren't they? Not bad. Ah. Uh. And Q fallen complaining about ads. <laughs> no? Okay, maybe not. Maybe the ads haven't run yet. I've just been told that there's ads running on. <laughs> Fuck your ads, there you go. <laughs> uh Yeah, it doesn't... Well, it's not the overlay. It's actual... Um, what's it called? Twitch chat. Because all the stuff on the overlays just goes straight through Twitch chat, so... But uh, Twitch normally likes emote spam. I think you can only send about 40 emotes at a time in a single message. Because it's still done based off of like the amount of text that there is you used to actually be able to bypass that if you did um emote spam on mobile but uh you can't do that anymore so it still is as long as it's below 500 characters you can send it as a chat message <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit buggy. Whoa! But it's not actually coming through on the chat whenever you're spamming it, so... I don't know what to do to fix that at that point. I like to play with my feet. Such a classic. <laughs> there is quite a few unlocked emotes on uh, my stream that you've got. You'd have even more if you were still subbed. <laughs> I think I've got now seven or eight sub emotes. The amount of emotes I have is kind of quite a bit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, keep it together. There you go. Fair enough. Yeah, there's, um... I mean, I imagine... Pretty much in a majority of streams that you have, you're probably up to, like, the 10k bit emo at least. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually have any, uh, like, Twitch event emotes or anything like that. Not really a fan of using emotes, though, so... That's a Lamborghini Diablo. I believe. Get out of my way. I might have some of them. I've completely been this one. Let's just reverse over the finish line. What's the point in going forwards? There you go, problem solved. Yeah, I got a load of those ones unlocked. Not bad. I got four grand for that because I caused so much damage. Unreal. Alright, here we go. Race number two. Sebring. 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 Wee oui, wee, oui, Sebring. <laughs> no fucking clue what that was. Make being in X class against S2 cars. Mm, no, I'm in a U class car. Get it right, bitch. Yeah, these are these are a little bit overpowered hands, I will admit. <laughs> but uh, guess what? I don't care because this car's fast, so. Vroom vroom! <laughs> no, you bitch. I think I've driven this car around this track already. That looked like 200 miles an hour to me. Bad. Oh, glitch. Thank you very much for that posture check. Posture check. Posture. Fuck. Can't speak. Hey, look, I got a little parcel thing next to my name. Because I've gifted a sub in my own chat. <laughs> the seats go back That was a bad time to have a drink. <laughs> that straight wasn't long enough. Not bad. Get on the brakes! Get around the corner! I have a feeling that this footage is going to be like 180 gigabytes or something ridiculous like that. Just for this entire stream. And that doesn't include the stuff that I've deleted. Or the actual stream archive. Which would probably add another hundred to that. 
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of storage space gone after today. Oh, understand like a bitch. Right, we're a third of the way through this race. Looking good. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. away from the wall preferably come on there we go not bad oh I've accidentally uh, pressed the uh, tire wear button there we go Ridiculously fast car goes against ridiculously slow AI. Do, 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 Wow, that did the engine damage. So all those times before when I absolutely smashed into the wall, no engine damage, but that did engine damage. How? I am concerned beyond belief. Unbelievable. Meow. Move out of the way, McLaren. Does a McLaren F1 have a V12? Because that sounded like a V12.
Do 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 Oh, it's finally started raining. It's supposed to have rained about an hour and a bit ago. Right, one more lap to go. Not bad. Oh, what what game was this from? I don't know what game this song was from. Need for Speed Hop uh Need for Speed 2015, that was it. Oh, this is a tune. Alright, here we go, Miguelo. It's honestly one of the most garbage stores out there. But because it's so baked into Windows, if something goes wrong with it, you can't just uninstall and reinstall it. It's like part of Windows. Which is ridiculous. I, I genuinely think they should have a feature. Yeah, that's why I said it was similar to, similar to how EA Play does it. And actually, I don't mind paying for EA Play. Because of the fact that there are some EA games I like. And it gives me the chance to try out some of the newer EA games. But like £20 a year compared to buying a brand new EA game a year. Is much cheaper. So I'm going to go for the £20 a year. I would never spend full price on an EA game. Not at all. I'll take the discounted... I'll take the six month delay that they do for like FIFA and... All that stuff and just play them later, but play them when they're on EA Play for cheaper. Flying over city sounds real. It's real. Love that feel. But nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute, so just chill. This song's awesome. Yeah, but the difference is, uh, Codemasters is now owned by EA, so I kind of have to put up with EA. So. And so far, actually, EA's been the good guys for Codemasters, because Codemasters has put out some really good titles since being bought by EA. Granted, I think it's just Grid Legends, um... F121 and 22 but still those are three very good titles that have been put out and I very much enjoy them and by the looks of it as well the WRC franchise is going to be moving over to Codemasters soon and I think that's all thanks to EA as well because EA obviously buying out the licenses and because of the fact that EA has their own rally team in the WRC now as well. 
Um, as well as also buying out... Um, obviously, with Codemasters, buying out the Dirt franchise. So... We could see some good, good improvements. And obviously, so far, EA doesn't really focus too much on Codemasters. They're just funding it and asking for the money back. That's basically what they're doing. Because obviously, Codemasters makes a crap ton of money. So just chill. I go, we go, we go. Fine, I don't see this on the video. It's real. But uh, Codemasters Cheshire got disbanded. That was the only thing that sucked a little bit. Um, and they sort of merged into, I believe they merged into Criterion, who worked on the Battlefield games before. Because uh, Criterion got moved off of. Um, can't stand EA. That's fair enough. I mean, they do have some good games, so... To associate it with just EA... It's just a bad idea. Like, I don't support EA. But if there's a good game that I enjoy, I'm going to play it. No matter who makes it. I don't give a shit who makes it. As long as the game's not bad, it doesn't matter. Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 no. Ba 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 Not bad. I've just noticed the reflections in this game are actually pretty good. <laughs> They're actually pretty solid. Hey, not bad, Jacob.
Got one more race after this. Ah, I'm under steering like a bitch. I'll smack you like a bitch, so turn around. So you can go, oh, if you wanna. Don't be a pussy, get up. Oh, come on. I was gonna say, get back on track, you pleb. Yay, I've got mail! It's a rainy man. Hallelujah! It's a rainy man. Oh, Ghost Wire Tokyo price drop. We have to have a look at that. Uh, it's so good that it's raining now. Meow. 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 Not bad. Oh. Almost lost it. Come on, keep it on the track. Final corner. Wow. Result. Got some good rewards there. All right, here we go, Suzuka. Oh, my phone's fallen over. Speedy man! Speedy man! Fast. 400 on the dash. 55 bills, 50 for the tax. Or something like that. Little bit of a corner cut there. Fuck's sake. Drive! 
stupid fucking thing. I never got a picture of the um, tiger car, I don't think, for episode 52. Hi, it's Mechanic CG here, and my PC set on fire. No, not quite. I don't think it is. I don't look like it. Bang! <laughs> there goes the power supply. Go on, goes the power supply. The power supply went bang. Now my PC's on fire. <laughs> I'm doing so bad with this car. It's just... It's so fast, but it's so unstable. But it's the only car out of, like, the 20th century lineup that I actually wanted to take. For Christ's sake. I hate how horrible this car is to drive around this track. I just hates it. Also, this is uh, my um, sub alert song, I believe. What do you mean have AC? Why would we need to spend thousands on AC when we have like seven days a year that we probably need to turn it on? The rest of the year we need it off. Like now, because it's cold. It's like going to um, fucking Antarctica and installing an AC unit into a house there. It's the fucking dumbest thing ever.
Oh look, I'm in a country where outside 99.9% .9 of the year is really cold. Oh, my house is warm. What do I do? Ah, I know what I'll do. I'll install an AC unit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sod the windows. There's something in the Yeah, for like seven days of the year, not even. Like, I'm not going to spend $300 for seven days of the year. Plus, in the UK, we don't have, like, universal windows sizes or anything like that. Like, everything is, like, so you wouldn't be able to put one in a window. That's for sure. shaky. I like my legs. That's what she said. Yes, but again, the UK is very rarely hot like it was yesterday or the other week. So again, it's kind of pointless to produce them for like, you know, a couple of days. No one's going to, no one in the UK in their right mind will spend $300 for two days of cool. That's like near enough if average UK's weekly wage. Well, maybe like four out of the five working days we spent to buy an AC unit that we'd use for two days. You'd have to work more time than you'd actually be using it for to actually pay for it. That's how useless that is. Especially as the last time that we've actually needed, like, probably would have done with an AC unit to cool us down, would have been probably 2018 summer. So you think it's been nearly three and a bit years since it's been ridiculously hot like that. So, yeah, I'll pass on that. I'd rather have that 300 quid put to something useful. Must be the feeling. Yes, more ads. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really a you problem when it's the fact that the UK is completely fucked, to be honest. Our minimum wage is so low compared to our, like, living costs at the moment that people are barely being able to pay for it. Because some idiots in our country decided to vote Brexit. So if you voted Brexit, you're the reason why the UK is fucked. End of argument. <laughs> End of discussion as well. <laughs> it's pretty fucking straightforward and pretty obvious as well. There we go. We got our rewards though. Not bad. Every time. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.